Uh, back in July of last year, I did a video where I was naming uh, the 10 Atlanta Hawks players that uh, have the best case for having their uh, jerseys retired by the organization. And uh, I intended to do every franchise, but that just... It just was, first of all, I got sidetracked. And also, it can be a very lengthy process, you know, uh, reading and, and, and doing research and trying to figure out which player should go here and there or whatever. But I had to give a shout-out to two people. But the first one is Sloan Jackson. You're right. I remember you commented on the video, and I wasn't even aware of who he was. Uh, a fellow by the name of Jumpin' Joe Caldwell. Should have been on my list, and I should have uh, gotten uh, knocked off uh, Tree Rollins for him. And one player that I forgot to mention in the video, I had all of his numbers and everything, but for some reason I didn't mention him, was Mookie Blaylock. Uh, Mookie Blaylock has a case. I probably would have, in hindsight, maybe moved Steve List off, Steve Smith, excuse me, off the list and put Mookie there. But anyway, the third guy on that list, Number three, I remember, was Pete Maravich. And I didn't understand, you know, particularly why Pete Maravich's number had never been retired. His number 44 had never retired by the Atlanta Hawks. And the other YouTuber I want to give a shout out to is, of course, Scorpio. Scorpio was the one that informed me earlier today, I believe it was, that Pete Maravich finally will have his number retired by the Atlanta Hawks organization. Uh, he was very, you know, he uh, Pete Maravich is Pete Maravich. He is one of the most uh, dynamic players to ever play in the NBA. He revolutionized how the game was played. He modernized basketball. Uh, he's arguably the greatest collegiate player of all time. Of course, you have to put in pit players like Bill Walton, uh, Bill Walton, and Criminal Jabbar to that argument, but he's probably the most dominant ever when it comes to offense. He averaged over 44 points per game, I believe, during his collegiate career. I think I was an individual who said the three-point line was included during Pete Maravich's uh, period uh, when he played. That he his average would have gone from 44 points to 57 points per game. But um, Pete Maravich was very dominant during the four seasons that I believe that he played for Atlanta Hawks. But he averaged better than 24 points per game. Uh, I think he averaged something like four rebounds and five assists per game or something like that on 45% shooting. Um, so this is good. It's good that, you know, perhaps maybe my video, maybe somebody from Atlanta Hawks organization saw my video and, uh, made a case for, uh, it swayed them to, you know, to make a case for Pete Maravich. And, you know, uh, you like to think that maybe something you did uh, had some type of impact. Uh, but I still feel that I understand why, perhaps why Cliff Hagen will never have his jersey retired. I understand, you know, uh, politics, and I get that, you know. But Dan Ronfeld, I think, should have his jersey retired. Uh, Dan Ronfeld was one of the best defensive players in the 1980s. Uh, probably was for a while the best defensive small forward in, in the NBA. He instantly made the team uh, contenders every year. Uh, and tragically, you know, he died in 2012 trying to save his wife from drowning in Aruba. And I think that Dan Ranafeld should be the next guy to have his jersey retired by Atlanta Hawks. Uh, I, I really feel that his number 32 should be retired. But in the meantime, congratulations to the families. The family of Pete Maravich, who tragically died during a pickup game in January 1988, January 1988 at the age of 40 from a heart, heart attack. Uh, congratulations to uh, the family of Pete Maravich on this honor.